Wayne Gretzky is a name synonymous with hockey. Throughout his 21-year career, the Great One has built a strong case to be considered the greatest athlete of the 21st century, surpassing legends such as Michael Jordan, Babe Ruth, and Jim Brown. However, beyond his career life, there lies a part of the star's life less explored, the world of the Gretzky family. In this video, we will explore the lesser-known stories of the Great One's family. Raised in Brantford, Ontario, Wayne Gretzky started playing hockey almost as soon as he could walk. Born into a family of five, Wayne was the first born in 1961 to his father, Walter Gretzky, and mother, Phyllis Leone. Wayne's father played a pivotal role in his career. Walter Gretzky was the son of immigrants, a Polish mother, and a Russian father. He played minor hockey in Paris, Ontario, then Junior B for four years in Woodstock. He went on to play some senior hockey but said he wasn't good enough to play pro. Walter met Phyllis, his wife-to-be, at a wiener roast at the family farm. She was 15 at the time. Three years later, they got married. When Wayne turned four, Walter decided to pass on his hockey knowledge to his son. He turned the backyard of their Brantford home into a rink that young Wayne called the Wally Coliseum. Drills included skating around bleach bottles and tin cans, and flipping pucks over scattered hockey sticks to be able to pick up the puck again in full flight. Walter gave the advice to skate where the puck's going, not where it's been. Walter fed his eldest child's obsession, recruiting bigger kids for Wayne to practice against in the backyard rink, and finding him a spot on a team of 10-year-olds when he was six. You knew he was good at his age at what he was doing, Walter said in a 2016 interview. But to say that one day he'd do what he did? You couldn't say that. Nobody could. By age 10, Wayne had scored an astonishing 378 goals and 139 assists in just one season with the Brantford Nadrovsky Steelers. His play attracted media attention beyond Brantford, including a profile by Johnny Aboni in the Toronto Telegram in October 1971. After playing junior hockey in Toronto, having moved there at 14, Wayne got his start in the major leagues with the Indianapolis Racers of the World Hockey Association. However, not long after Wayne arrived, the franchise closed its doors and sold its young asset to the NHL Edmonton Oilers, and the rest is history. Wayne led the Oilers to four Stanley Cup wins in 1984, 1985, 1987, and 1988 before being traded to the Los Angeles Kings in 1988, then briefly with the St. Louis Blues, and finally to the New York Rangers. Wayne retired in 1999 with 61 NHL records. 40 regular season records, 15 playoff records, and 6 all-star records, and his iconic number 99 retired league-wide as well. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame the same year he retired. Meanwhile, at 6 feet tall and 180 pounds, Wayne was not the prototypical great hockey player. He also wasn't considered very fast. Many people didn't think he would be a good NHL player at all. However, Wayne had a knack and feel for hockey like no other player in the world. He could anticipate where players were going to be and make passes and adjustments that made it seem like he had eyes in the back of his head. And with that, he became legendary. But Wayne didn't come this far without his family. As mentioned earlier, Wayne's father, Walter Gretzky, was a striking force behind his son's success in hockey. He was such a constant in Wayne's world that he soon made a name for himself. As Wayne's star ascended, Walter remained a blue-collar symbol of a devoted hockey parent in a country filled with them. Their father-son story was frequently woven into commercials, from Tim Hortons to Coca-Cola, and following in the footsteps of Alexander Graham Bell, they made Brantford, Ontario famous. Walter's celebrity status increased after he made a remarkable recovery from a stroke in 1991. His autobiography and a 2005 made-for-TV movie told the story. Recognizing his contributions to hockey, he was named to the Order of Canada in 2007. Sadly, this remarkable father passed away in March 2021 at the age of 82, 17 years after the death of his wife. Phyllis died at the age of 64 in late 2004 after being diagnosed with lung cancer. Before her death, the mother of the superstar was perhaps the least known of the Gretzky family, as she tried to maintain privacy for her children amid the spotlight of Wayne's celebrity status. While Wayne's father was comfortable in the public eye, his mother preferred to keep a low profile. She sought to maintain a normal lifestyle. Throughout my career, she was in the background, but she was the glue," Wayne said at the time of his mother's diagnosis. She's always been the toughest in the family. Speaking about the family, Wayne was followed by three brothers, Brent, Keith, and Glenn, and a sister, Kim. Walter coached all four of his sons at the rink in their backyard, but Wayne rose above his brothers to become the greatest hockey player who ever lived. 
But still, two of his brothers, Keith and Brent, also had remarkable careers in hockey. Brent played in the NHL for the Tampa Bay Lightning. He was the 49th overall pick in the 1992 draft. He spent most of his career in the minor leagues until he made his NHL debut in the 1993-94 season. The center forward made 10 appearances, scoring once and assisting three times. Brent's career concluded in 2008 after 17 years of hockey. Similarly, the other Gretzky brother to play hockey is Keith. He is more prominently known for his coaching career. As he played for only six years, the Buffalo Sabres drafted him 55th overall in the 1985 NHL draft. Following his playing days, Keith started to work as a manager. He managed several minor league teams before becoming the interim general manager for the Edmonton Oilers. Moving on, the only one of the four Gretzky brothers not associated with hockey is Glenn. He is an actor and producer known for his work in Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. Furthermore, Wayne is a happily married man. He first met his wife, Janet Jones, in 1984, when Wayne was a judge on Dance Fever, and Janet was one of the dancers. Later, Janet Jones became engaged to Vetus Garolitis in 1985, but fate had other plans, as Janet's relationship with Vetus didn't last. In 1987, they separated. The following year, Wayne and Janet had another chance to meet at a Los Angeles game. Somewhere along the way, the two became attracted to each other and began dating. After some time getting to know each other, Wayne romantically proposed to Jones, and on June 16, 1988, they married in a lavish ceremony at St. Joseph's Basilica in Edmonton in front of 700 relatives and friends. Following his marriage to Janet Jones, the couple has been blessed with five children. Paulina Gretzky is not only the first child of Wayne and Janet, but also the most popular among the siblings. She has been called the social media queen and was also listed in one of the world's most beautiful women's list. Following in her mother's footsteps, the 35-year-old chose a modeling and acting career. Her fame skyrocketed even more after she walked down the aisle with golf star Dustin Johnson. Ty, the second child and eldest son of the family, was the only one who picked up hockey, following the great one's footsteps. As the first son of the couple, people had high expectations for the child from a young age. In his 10th grade year, Ty was part of his school's hockey team at Shattuck St. Mary's School. However, his enthusiasm for the sport didn't match people's expectations. Ty felt pressured and eventually left the sport. In 2020, he married his sweetheart, Sarah Cusick, following the duo's engagement with a ring from his grandmother. After Ty comes Trevor, who is an actor and producer. He is popularly known for Mile 22 in 2018, Spiral, and Apex in 2021. Prior to walking down the entertainment path, he was a professional baseball player drafted by the Chicago Cubs in the seventh round of the 2011 amateur draft with a 219th pick. Known for his acting in Two Tickets to Paradise, Tristan Gretzky is the youngest son of the couple. Born on August 2, 2000, Tristan shifted his focus to playing golf rather than hockey. He signed up to play college golf at Pepperdine. Emma is the youngest daughter and the fourth child of Wayne Gretzky and Janet Jones. She, just like Paulina and Janet, chose to pursue a career as an actress. Her role in the teen drama Palo Alto was well known. Nevertheless, Emma has managed to balance both acting and sports in her life. She started playing tennis at 12 and has been a rising talent in the sphere. And that's a wrap on the unknown family of Wayne Gretzky. For more informative content on the sports world, like and subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in the next video.